Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Timberborn. Okay, so at the end of last episode, this district here, our second district, was having a little bit of problems with water, in that it didn't have any. Uh, we have kind of remedied that. We we're about halfway through the drought, just over halfway through the drought. Uh, we've kind of remedied that. We're, we're doing okay for water now. We are no longer importing it. So it is just about sort of supplying itself at the moment. Um, I am putting in uh, another platform for another uh, water pump up here. Um, I've put in a little bridge across here. Uh, just to slightly extend the range of uh, this gatherer flag. And because these bushes are starting to spread uh, over here as well. Uh, which was out of range before. Um, what else have I done? Uh, I've put in another log storage here. Um, I think that's everything in this... Oh no, I'm putting in uh, a large warehouse over here in this district. Uh, waiting on... Um, gears, but we're going to need the... Uh, waiting on planks, rather. Um, but we're going to need them to be made in situ, I think. Yeah. So we're waiting on the uh, lumber mill down here to, to make planks. In this district, um, what have I done over here? Uh, I've put in uh, a drop-off point over here um, in order to receive the medicine from the other district. Um, I think that's everything. Uh, oh, I deleted the gatherer flag that was up here. Um, I think that's all I've done in this district. He says. Yes. Uh, but the thing that I'd forgotten to mention, the as I said before, it was a very minor thing. Last episode, I completely blanked on it. All I'd done oops I'd unlocked the shrine and, and placed a shrine in. Uh, I think there's another one around somewhere. But yeah, that, that's all it was. Um, as I said, it was a very, very minor thing. Okay, but we are doing okay. Uh, Food-wise, we're alright. Uh, materials, it's still planks that are holding us back, really. Um... Just because we're using so many of them, we haven't really given ourselves a chance to to stockpile those. Um, we do still have a lot of logs in this district, though. Oh, I put in another log storage up here as well. Uh, I wonder if it's worth putting in another lumber mill. Um, make sure everything's fully... Stocked. Yeah, I think I'm going to put in another another lumber mill. I'm going to put it in next to this one. So, let's have a look. We're going to need... That... For the wheel. And then... Where's the path? It's on that side. Of course it would be. Okay. So we're going to need that. And one of those. And some of that. We'll have one of those. And... One of those. There we go. Get on with that, please. Right, I will now... How are we doing? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. I will now spin on uh, until the drought is over, and we'll see where we are at that point. Okay, that's the end of the drought. We've done all right. We're, we've still got plenty of water uh, in both districts now. Um... Over 300 water in this district at the start of the day, which is quite nice. So our water problems appear to be solved, at least for the moment. Um, yeah, everything is progressing. I've not done anything else. I'm just waiting for them to build things. Uh, this lumber mill, 
is in and operating, or will be when somebody turns up. When um, Crodrag turns up, that's a good name, Crodrag. Okay, so we are now waiting for the water to return. Uh, our science is slowly building. Uh, I think this one is turned back on. Yes, it is. Um, because what I want to be looking at is the golem stuff, realistically. Um, but that's going to take 400 power just for the assembler and the part factory. So we are going to need the engine first. Yeah. Uh, we can afford that now, uh, but there's no point in building it just yet. Uh, what I do want to do is, is actually give our planks a chance to build up a little bit. But I will unlock it. So we have the engine available. What is it? Three by three? Yes, three by three. Okay. I think out here on platforms, probably. Um... Yeah, I think that's probably the best place to put it. If we, if we lay out some platforms uh, around here, I'll have to figure out, obviously, how big everything is. I mean, we're going to need at least a, a, a three by three. And then uh, I think the power comes off the back, yes. So if we were, say, put it in there, we'd also need platforms there to carry the power around the corner, unless we built around the edge of it. And just connect it straight to the back, which is a possibility. Um, but we'll we'll figure that out once we figure out how large the um, Golem Part Factory and the Golem Assembler are. Uh, for which we are going to need a lot of science points. 1,250. So we're about 900 away. Is it worth putting in another inventor he says immediately putting in another inventor because yes i think it is going to be worth putting in another inventor right i will spin on i will get some water back i will try and allow the uh, the stock of planks to build up a little bit before i engage on the next uh, large building project whatever that's going to be um i think that answers the question it's going to be housing over here i think Oh, we'll leave it for a little while. We, we, we've got some space there. We'll leave it for a little while. Okay, day six. Um, our stock of planks is increasing. Um, we're not building anything in this district currently. I don't think. Uh, no, we're all good in this district currently. Um, water and food-wise, absolutely fine over here. Um, got a hell of a stock of uh, wheat... Uh, we do have two um, grist mills churning that into flour, in theory. Are you going to work? Um, probably at some point somebody will turn up to... Ah, oh, there we go. Colovux is on their way. There we are. So yeah, we are slowly turning all that into uh, into into flour. Um... We don't have a lot of flour at the moment. Our bakery is making short work of it. So that's nice. Uh, over here, we've just finished these platforms. Uh, I'm not going to put in a water pump just yet. Um, because I want to build some more housing. Um, and how are we going to do this? Um, for now, I think we'll just put it in here. Like so. Okay, uh, in this district we have very few planks. What I'm going to do then is I am going to briefly send over planks from this district. Where are we? Planks. There we go. Just so they've got enough to, to put that platform together. 
Right. Uh, science points here. We're on 600, so we're doing all right. We are slowly building up. Um, what I'm going to do is probably spin through until the start of the next drought. Um, trying to think what else we might need. Honestly, I kind of want to look at... Um, well-being in this district as well how are we at the moment 11 right we need to improve that how are we going to improve the well-being well well i don't know what have we got what have we got available to us we've got shrines we we have at least one shrine possibly more who knows A temple can only be built on the ground, and on this map, that's not really viable. Uh, not without explosives, anyway. So that's kind of out. Carousel eats power, and a lot of it. Mud bath? Maybe. Um... Do we have a rooftop terrace in this district? I don't think we do. I can't see one anyway. No, I can't see one. Okay, right. We will put in a rooftop terrace. Uh, we can put that on platforms. So... There's not a lot of places... Um, it's all very deep. We'll put it over here. Uh, where are we? Paths and structures. There we go. There we are. And we'll pop in. Where are we? Uh, well-being. Rooftop terrace. Oh, sure, we had one somewhere, but I have no idea where it would be. I'm possibly being blind, but never mind. Do we have one in this district? No. Not that I can see again. We do have a, a campfire. Okay, well, we'll... Uh, we'll spin on again. Uh, I will... Spin on to the start of the drought. Um, again, let our science points build up. Let our stock of planks um, build up. Um, I'll keep an eye on everything. And if there's any problems, obviously, I'll, I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll sort them out. But other than that, I'll come back at the start of the drought. Okay, we're looking at a six-day drought, which is going to be no problem at all. Uh, we have plenty of water in both districts. Plenty of food in both districts. Yeah. Not a problem. Um, okay, our stock of planks has increased a reasonable amount. Uh, we're nearly at the point where we can unlock both of those um, new golem-related things. So the golem part factory and the uh, assembler. Uh, I'm going to make the assumption that the part factory goes first. So 500 science points. Yes, that is also 3x3. Three three. Okay... Okay, in which case, I think we probably, hmm, okay, the first engine is going to be dedicated purely to these two buildings, isn't it, I think, so yeah, let's put this in, so... we put it in there so that will be the engine now do we keep coming out this way or do we bring the path along here hmm I think we're going to put the path along here Oh, nope, that's that's too much. We want that one. 
Yeah, if we bring the path along that way, so we're going to need... That at least. Um, and we'll want to put the door... Uh, the path for the door on this side. Like that. So we'll have a path coming out. Come on, a path. Coming out this way and this way. So our engine is going to go on... Like that. Then we'll have a second platform, 3x3, three three next to it for the... Um, Golem Park Factory, so that will go there, with the door facing that way. And then we'll still be free to put in however big the uh, Golem Assembler is next to it. Uh, and then we'll need another 200 points for the charging stations. However they work, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I assume the Golems have to go to them to charge up, so we want them fairly close to wherever the golems are going to be working. Now. That's all this stuff. Dirt piles, dirt excavators, terraforming stations. Yeah, all of this stuff is going to be after we've got the golems up and running. Yeah. Okay, right. So we'll go through the drought. We'll see how uh, far through this lot we can get built. Obviously, if they get all of it built, I'll put in the next platform as well. Um, uh, in this district, we're going to need to start sending over metal blocks. So we'll add a new route. Uh, where's the drop-off point? There it is. Where are we? Metal blocks. Go for it. Thank you very much. Right. Yes, that will do for now. I will spin on through the drought without any problems whatsoever. I think we've actually increased the amount of water we're storing. Um, and I think we've increased the amount of food we have as well. Uh, definitely increasing our resources. Um, we finished the first bit of the platform and we are working very hard on the next bit. Um, I've also put in some more storage over here and some more space for housing when we need it over here. Um, in this district, I've popped in another breeding pod uh, and I have turned on these two breeding pods over here because uh, as you can see, we are running low on unemployed beavers again. We have a few children waiting to grow up, so that's fine. I think I caught it in time. Um... Yeah, so we want this uh, district to be a bit more sort of self-sustaining in terms of um, offspring. So I've just popped in another breeding pod there just to, to see how that goes. Uh, we have space here and there. There's the space there. Uh, a little bit of space there. Maybe there as well. So we, got, we can dot them around should we need to. What I want to do, thank you autosave, uh, is continue this path along here uh, and put in another farmhouse in this district. Um, yeah, we don't have the, the beavers currently, but that's not too much of a problem. We, we'll, we'll get them. We'll get them. Um, how are we doing for planks in this district? 139. That's not too bad. Um, I don't think I'm building anything else currently. Uh, I am not. So I am going to put in that path. All the way around to... Yeah, about there should be fine. And then... All the way up there. That's not going to let me drag the path. Okay, that's fine. We'll bring the path along there, and then we should be able to get all the way down there without any problems once that's in. Um, and once that's in, we'll, we'll put a farmhouse down as far as we can. Um, I might even extend the path along to here, put a farmhouse in down this end, and put a woodcutter in to clear this space. Um, what I was also thinking 
was we've got this path coming up here, and if we put a district gate on um, and bring the path further out, maybe pop a district centre just over the water here uh, and work our way this way, putting in a, a dam across here. So this section will fill up as well. Uh, I know we did talk about turning this into a, a, a full-on reservoir, but probably don't need that at the moment. It's 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 probably unnecessary. Um, yeah, so that's where we are. So this is coming along a pace. So once this is done, um, let me just double check. I wonder if we've got enough... And we have enough science to unlock the assembler as well. So we will do that. And what are you? You are another 3x3. Three three. Okay. Let's set that up. Uh, probably only need to go that far with the path. Oh. There we go. Now. There and there. And there. So, we'll get that completed. And once that's done, I'll be back and we'll put in the machinery. Okay. Our platforms are constructed. So, let's start with our engine. That's going to sit right there. So, the... Oops. The path meets up with the door. That's nice. Next... We want the Golem Part Factory, and we want the door to go... Oh, yeah, exactly there. That's brilliant. So we'll pop that in there. And finally, the Golem Assembler. Where's the door? There's the door. In the right place. Perfect. Okay, so we need metal blocks, which are on their way. Gears, which are being made. Uh, and planks, which, yeah... Uh, metal blocks, gears, planks, metal blocks, gears, and logs. Okay, well, the logs are already there. So, I will wait. Let's have a look. How many metal blocks do we have in this district? 94 currently. Okay. We should have enough, just. So, I will spin on until that is uh, constructed. Um, I will... Yeah, as soon as this comes online, I'll, I'll pause it. Uh, and then wait till everything's built. Because we don't want it to, to run when there's nothing to power it. Um, over in this district, I am extending the path all the way along here. Um, it's just starting to kind of turn orange here. So, we should... I mean, hopefully we'll get all the way to the end. Uh, if we look, it starts to turn orange here on this path. And we still get all of that distance in the red. So we should be able to get to the end of here, no problem. So I'll probably put the um, farmhouse in. I might, might as well just put it in here. Uh, and then pop a woodcutter down here uh, to clear out all of this. And then maybe extend some of the uh, the farmland. Or just use that one as a, a backup for this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, I will, as is customary, spin on. And there we go. They are all built. We have our engine, we have our part factory, and we have our assembler. So, let's fire them up. Uh, I think I've got just enough golems in the district. Okay, recipe to be selected. What do we want? Chassis, limbs, or heads? Well, let's start with a chassis. And we'll go from there. Uh, now, we building this did absolutely decimate our resources. Uh, so it's going to take a little while to, to build things back up again. Um, so I think we'll leave it there for this episode with our, uh, Gollum factory just beginning to, uh, produce. And next episode, we'll see how that goes. Uh, over here, uh, we have brought the path all the way along. Uh, we're just putting in these platforms, uh, that are going to hold the, um, 
the, the farmhouse. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, and over here I'm putting in some more storage, uh, specifically to store planks. Um, so we've actually got a supply of planks um, being stockpiled that isn't eating up all of the storage in all the other um, storage sites, basically. So, we will leave it there. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm, I'm quite pleased that you actually got this up and running fairly simply. Fair, it, it didn't take too long at all. Um, we, and we've already got another 600-odd science points built up, uh, which is going to obviously need to go towards... Where are we? Landscaping. The excavators and what have you. I really don't know how these work, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Please do give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the episode and you would like to see more. Um, please give me any comments down below. And until next time, I've been John. This has been Timberborn. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.